Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is Lao with Kenchan Crafts, and happy Pride Month to everybody out there. For today, I wanted to share with you guys how I organize and store my pens, and how I travel with them if I do travel with them. Um, and so I know for sure that this August I will be going to the San Francisco Pen Show, and so this is kind of, I'll kind of show my setup and how I'm going to be carrying my pens and paper um, to that pen show. For today, I will show you the five pen cases I have, um, and these are pen cases that I can take with me outside when I travel. Um, I do have a 33 pen uh, case, it's like a box a wooden box. Um, if you watch my um, eight pen question, I kind of feature that box in there, but it's just a nice wooden box to store all my pens that I don't use. Um, so you can use like a wooden box like that one, or you can also buy the 40, you know, uh, 40 pen um, like zipper case from Galen Leather. And there's other stores too that sell those big um, 40 plus pen case where you can just store your pens uh, whether they're inked or not inked uh, but I think a lot of people like that solution to store all their pens in one place um, and then these smaller pen cases that I have are for like between three to six pens where you just carry what you need my first one here is my rickshaw um, six pen I think pen roll yep and so I chose the design with Mount Fuji and uh, it's got these really pretty sakura petals here with a platinum 3776 uh, century. Alright, so this pen case um, is really, really nice and soft and um, basically it, it, it will, you can slide in six pens and it is, the slots are pretty generous. So. My biggest pen in here is my um, Visconti uh, Kaleido. It's a pretty thick, beefy boy. Um, and so it fits in there perfectly. And then even my smaller, thinner pens, like this Platinum Kanazawa. And you don't have to use the, you know, you don't have to use the clips to hold them in place like they will stay in there pretty well like this one I didn't put the clip on but my my Peniter has this really nice quill clip that does clip on pretty nicely um, it, it goes in there very easily and comes out easily so like pens like that with clips that go in easily and come out easily I will use otherwise like you could just set them to the side and just shove them in there like that and then here's my Lamy it's got this giant clip, so um, you can use a clip if you want. Um, I think for Lamy though, actually, you do have to do it like this, just because it's kind of, with the clip so big, it's... Sometimes, if you have a big clip, it doesn't go sideways like this so easily. But I guess this one does, so. All right, so I have five in here right now, but like you can have six. And the neat thing about this roll, like it, aside from the cloth being super soft, you know, to, to prevent any scratches. Um, you can put this flap over, and when you roll it, the pens will not scratch each other, or they won't bump into each other because of this flap. Now, I don't know how, like, 100% if it will or will not scratch, but based on the design, um, it shouldn't scratch. So, when you roll it, they will roll onto this soft flap right here. And so... <clears throat> I, I do feel pretty confident that when I use this roll, my pens are pretty safe and they will not um, be bumping into each other. They won't scratch. Um, and then the uh, nice thing about this too is that it's kind of adjustable. You can see this. You can tighten it or loosen it up based on how big or how small your pens are. And so I typically like to, because it's very secure, like I know it's not gonna come out. So I like to have this a little looser so that my pens don't like squish onto each other. I'll rank in terms of like what I feel is the safest to put into a bag when you're traveling in a bit, but out of the five that I have, this is $50 on uh, Goulet pens. And I'm not sure if you can get these on sale anywhere else, but $50 is not bad for, you know, <laughs> 
<laughs> but when you're trying to protect your pens, like you'll spend anywhere between twenty and a hundred dollars, depending on how luxurious you want your pen cases to be. Uh, the second one here is my pen envelope. This is the three pen like envelope <laughs> um, by Fr uh, Frank and Christoph, I think. And I really like it just because it's so thin, compact, and but because of that. It doesn't hold your big pens really well. Uh, but the nice thing, like this flap here is very secure. Like it's not gonna undo itself. Um, the pens won't fall out just because inside is a flap, like a removable flap. That's what I love about this. So you can remove it and then you can just set it on your desk. Um, or like if you're out, you know, you can remove it and just keep it like that. So like it, it won't, you know, slide off if you like keep it in here and you're putting it on the table, the wind won't blow it or whatever. <laughs> whatever. Franklin Christoph does um, sell three, six, and 12 pen envelope cases as well. So you can get the six. I think the six is like double the size. So it's pretty nice uh, and compact for six. Um, and you can do like, I think the six pen envelope comes with two of these so that you can put in. Um, three pens in, in two separate slots and you know take out one of them at a time if you don't need all six um, so that's nice and so I only put my smaller pens which are my sailors right here um, so I have six seven sailors I think <laughs> and I I put my uh, main sailors that I use in here um, and if you have other small pens I, they should fit in here too. Like the big pens will fit too. So you can see the difference in size. The Leonardo is taller. It's slightly thicker than this Pro Gear, and the Pro Gear is uh, kind of a thicker pen too, in terms of sailor pens. And so this will fit in here, right? So my Leonardo does fit. And when you put it in, the only thing that I, um, that's kind of lacking in this case is that because it's so thin and tiny, the, um, you're going to have to be a little careful with your clips on your pens. So sometimes I like to like put the clip on the side so that it doesn't uh, get in the way of shoving this, or this inner sleeve inside. So it fits. Even my Leonardo Memento Zero, which is not the biggest Leonardo. So if you won't have a grande, it may not fit in this one. In terms of height, you can I, you can see like it doesn't pop above it. And when you when you close this pen envelope, there is a little extra space up there for taller pens. So um, let me just try my grande in there, so you guys can have a. An idea if you do have bigger pens um, if this is going to be a good um, fit for what your your needs the insert hole here is pretty I would say it's not so wide so like a grande may or may not like fit in there comfortably like it'll be super tight and snug and I don't want to put it in here because of the center cap bands here. I don't want to scratch any of that because there's a possibility that the felt will still scratch these nice gold finishes. Yes, it is very long and big and so it will fit your grande but it it does if you can see in there like it just it definitely goes over the top. I don't put my grandes in here, but I will do that just to show you guys that it does fit even the largest pens like the grande. So hopefully that didn't scratch my pen and my pen will forgive me. <laughs> what I like to do is just take this out and then I just push from the bottom so that the pens will be easier to pull from above because it, it is hard to like pull. It's, it's very, uh, unless you have a longer pen, then you could just pull, but these are shorter pens. And so they sit very snugly and deeply. And so I just push from the bottom and it's easy to pull from the top. Love this pen case for my sailors. It's nice, it keeps them protected, it keeps them separated. So they will not uh, come into contact with each other, like no metal on metal. So 
there's that Franklin Christoph. This was about $35, so it's not bad. Um, and then the sixth one will be like 46 or something like that. So it gets a little cheaper as you, you know, get more space. Um, so, but nice and compact. I know that some, <laughs> some pen cases from really expensive brands, two pen cases is like $98 and then three is like 150. Like that's ridiculous. <laughs> um, if you can get them on sale, why not? Um, but these ones are nice and affordable. Um, and you know, of course that's, uh, relative and different for everybody. So, you know, if you want like a $20 pen case, there are those out there. Um, like a lot on Amazon, um, non brand names that you can get, they work just fine. But these ones are, um, this, these two are brand names and they, they work really nicely for me. So I would shove these two in a bag and know that they're safe because they will not come into contact with each other and the pens will not fall out. This next one is, um, I got this off of AliExpress. So it is a copy or not a copy, but like it's, it's just, um, uh, it's not from Galen Leather. So, um, but Galen Leather makes these type of, um, pen cases. It is called the, these are the molded pen cases. Um, and I think some of them come with a latch like this and others, um, I'm not, I'm not sure what the other form of a latch is, but this, I like this latch and I think Galen Leather does sell these ones. So Galen Leather and this one, I, I believe they're similar. The leather here is probably not real leather because <laughs> it is pretty cheap. I got this for $25. These ones are like $69, $80 on Galen Leather. Um, and so basically it is soft leather. So if anything bumps into this, it will touch, uh, not touch the pen, but like it will um, bump the pen as well because the leather is so flexible and soft. I'm not sure if the Galen leather is like that too, but like um, it probably is. Um, so if you guys have this type from Galen leather, let me know if the leather is also pretty thin and flexible. I mean, it's not that thin, but it's, it's, it's very flexible and it's like not hard. Um, and then it's got an insert inside of here, which holds five pens, take it out halfway so that your pens are out and you can just easily, uh, slip them out as you need to. So these, this will ensure that your pens do not touch as well. Your pens won't touch each other when they're in here safely. Um, if you do bump it again, like I said, it's not a uh, hard. And so whatever comes into contact with this leather will kind of touch the pens a little bit. This, I would, uh, I, I would be okay putting it in a bag. Um, but the pens do shake. Uh, the pens don't like securely slide into place. They just sit there and they can roll back and forth. So there is that issue with this, this type of uh, pen roll or pen case. Um, my next one is my Blue Star Crafts um, display case. This one I just leave at home because it's it's meant to display your pens. Um, inside it's got this nice soft velvety plush or like it's just soft cloth like inside. And then this, the bands here are really nice and flexible. They can um, hold uh, thinner pens to really, really thick pens. I think that these bands are better with thicker pens where it's soft and smooth where you're putting it in. And I make sure that the bands do not go past this so as not to scratch, you know, the metal parts. Um, but the acrylic body will slide in very smoothly. Um, if you have pens that are not completely smooth throughout the body, they will not fit so well into these. It is sturdy enough that I can just also put it into a pen case. Um, with these kind of like elastic, um, you know, bands with no separation, your pens will, um, they will bump into each other from time to time. And especially when you, you know, when I take out these pens, they are bumping into each other left and right because, you know, like I have to put my finger between and then it makes this one touch that one. So you have to be okay with acrylics touching acrylic or uh, whatever your material your pens have. Um, you you need to be okay with them touching each other. 
This one I can also put into a bag or just leave it on my desk. And then this one is um, a 10 pen case from Galen Leather. Um, I have this in the forest green one and I don't put 10 pens in here because I, I feel like it's so nice, small, compact, um, but I don't know if this part right here is gonna stretch enough to, to where the zipper doesn't break. Um, I know that the zipper is really strong, but like my pens are bulky. And when you have 10 pens stacked on top of each other, it's very bulky. And this is so thin. Like it's as thin as my five pen case and it's supposed to hold 10, but this holds five. How can I put 10? Well, I know that some people do it and you guys do it really well, but me personally, I don't feel safe putting 10 pens in here because they will be so tight inside of here. Um, so I just have five right now and like these pens are thick, large pens, except for the Coveco. So I feel like if you have small pens like Coveco's, you could fit 10 in here and it would be super cute and, and fine. <laughs> um, so I have five in here. Um, I know that, so I will just demonstrate um, why 10 doesn't work for me. <laughs> um, and you know, like if it works for you and you make it work, kudos to you. Uh, I don't feel safe or comfortable doing that for myself. Okay, it, like, it'll hold all 10 nicely if you keep it open. Now, when you sh close it, do you see that? Like, how do you, how do you fit 10 pens and be feel comfortable zipping this all up? Right here, it gets hard. Okay. So while it is possible, <laughs> Again, the main thing is that I don't feel comfortable with how like it uh, stretches this um, case and I just don't want this case to be like, well, I guess like, you know, you're supposed to use your stuff. It's supposed to have some wear and tear and, and, and mold into your needs. So, you know, the only problem with this is I do feel like the pens are scrunched up in there really tightly but I guess it's possible. So I take back what I said about how it is impossible, but it it's possible, but at the same time, I don't like it. I don't like the thought of it. Okay, so this, if you do five, uh, it is very safe and secure. Um, they, they may, you know, like touch each other like this, just because there's nothing to separate them, um, but they sit nice and snug. They won't fall out and the zipper ensures that nothing comes out either. So I really like this case. I can just put it into a um, into one of my bags. So we have these five, um, and again, I think these are like $60, somewhere around there. I, I would say that in terms of like what I feel safe throwing into a bag, I would say in this order. Um, so the Penvelope, the Franklin Christoph Penvelope, is so nice, compact, and the pens stay in place. Uh, they don't uh, bump into each other. This uh, rickshaw pen roll, they won't uh, bump into each other as well. And they sit in a nice, comfy, very soft um, felt or fabric. This one, um, they are a little squished together, but it is very nice and uh, compact, secure. Uh, and then the fourth one will be my glass. This isn't glass, this is plexiglass. So like, it's it's not gonna break. Um, and so I feel pretty safe that this one will not, um, you know, have any issues in the bag either. The only thing is that the latch, if it does, it may come off because you might have things that will just accidentally open this. And then you'll have an, like a slightly open box, but like the pens will still stay safe. So, that's the only issue with this one, but like, I love this cute little latch here. So it's meant to be displayed. I can take it, but I don't need to. And then the last one I will say is this one, just because the pens, they don't stick in there safely. Um, there's no band. Um, they will roll, you know, from top to bottom uh, if you have smaller pens. So this one I would not recommend taking with you in a bag. 
because um, your pens will just, you know, uh, roll around inside of this thing. It's just, I don't like that feeling. <laughs> All right, so um, those are the five that I have and the options that you can choose from. Um, there's definitely a lot more out there um, for portability, um, but I do like the options I have here. If you have other like cases that are similar to these that you know that you carry with you, let me know down in the comments. I would love to check them out as well. And then I, you know, when I go out, if I um, want to journal outside, you know, I've got different kinds of books. Like there's this B5, I've got my A6, and then the Traveler's notebook size, right? So, um, and then if you guys have the A6, which is even tinier, you know, those are really nice to go. So I like to carry it in my bag, this um, kind of brown, I think this is faux leather. It wasn't expensive, this is like $25 on AliExpress. Really cute bag. Um, I just love brown things and like vintage looking stuff. So yeah, so basically it's, it's uh, big enough to put in, let's see, I don't think I can put my A, well, I can put my A6 journal in there. Uh, Hobonichi. And then if I wanted to, I can then put this one in here. Um, and then this pen as well. So it fits perfectly in there. So this is a nice little bag. Um, so anything A5 and smaller will fit in here. <laughs> um, and this is a, I would say this is a relatively small bag for me. Um, but it's, it's, uh, it's big enough for all that. And then I have another like flap here. I can put like ephemery, uh, ephemerals and paper, uh, scrapbooking stuff in here, uh, as well as like sticker or stickers and scissors if I need. And then another slot over here just for like, maybe my wallet or something. <laughs> yeah. So this is one of my bags. And then when I do go to the... San Francisco Pen Show, I will be carrying my larger Totoro bag. Um, this is uh, a bag that my friend got for me like 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago, and I still have it. I love it so much. And you can put like these cute little pins on here, um, and there's this little zipper here so the pins um, like don't have to go through this whole uh, fabric but just right into this into this inner pocket so uh, with a bag like this it's it's bigger so I can you know put in my larger notebooks so like my b5 notebook and my um, traveler's notebook I can put two of them in there snugly and then with a bigger bag like this I am more comfortable than putting in my a rickshaw roll just because it's got more space to you know fit a, a you know like a cylinder shape in there snugly right um, you can put it in these flaps too but just putting it inside um, so that I can zipper it up and make sure nothing will fall out this is how I'm gonna be traveling to the San Francisco Pen Show with my paper and pens in there that I'm going to be grinding down. I think I have two pens I want to grind down, but I've, I'll bring a few of them. And this will also be my bag. Uh, well, I think I'll probably have a backpack because I'm going to be buying inks and maybe one or two pen from the pen show and I need to be able to store them. <laughs> so um, probably this may not be enough to store the inks or whatever I buy from there. Um, if I do plan to like bring all of this with me. So that will be it for this video. I hope that was helpful and informational for you guys. And if you have any questions, um, more about pen cases, uh, where to buy them or chatting about how you like your own pen cases, <laughs> um, leave them down in the comment section. I would love to read them and answer them with you guys. Um, but yeah, so for now, uh, thank you so much for watching this video with me and um, make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.